So I got two different types of working chain here. Full chisel and semi chisel as evidenced by got that. There. the roundness of the edge this will stay sharper a lot longer and will be easier to sharpen however it won't cut quite as fast full chisel cuts pretty darn fast but this point here will round over and this major does the majority of the cutting and will wear out faster but cut faster and be a little bit harder to sharpen however it's still doable so to sharpen a chainsaw the way I do it is you just set it down somewhere a lot of people file like this kind of set it up like this and kind of put their legs on it and fire like that. I don't like that. I think it's awkward. If you're out in the woods, find a log or something up high. Or just go back to your truck, tailgate or something. That's how I do it. Just set it down. You'll have a good side and a bad side, but that's okay. So let me flop you around here. Get your correct size file. Am I in the picture? Yeah. Get your correct size file for this one. Uh, this is a 530 seconds. And to file, there's two critical angles. There's the angle this way, which is, there's usually a little line on it that'll tell you. And then up and down, you wanna be 15 degrees up. That way as you're pushing the file through, you're filing most of your energy right on the working edge of the chain. So to file, usually what I'll do is grab a sharpie and mark a tooth so I know where to start. Make sure it's loose. You can use your chain break. I'd use my dominant hand. I'm the lefty in this case. Usually hold it down. Pick your angle, and then pick your 15 degree rise, and file like that. You can count strokes, that's all it takes really. Just like that, and you'll work through. Just making sure to maintain your angles. Check yourself every couple teeth. Make sure the most important is this angle, but it's very important this angle because if you're too flat, you won't be sharpening the cutting tooth. You'll be just deepening the gouge, basically. You'll be going too far down that way. So once you do that, as you sharpen, obviously your teeth get smaller and therefore not as tall. So you'll have to follow your rakers back. Um, they set the depth of cut. You can usually look up the spec on those and use an angle, a file gauge, which I'll show you. You can use one of these doohickeys here. You set your tooth on and file down. This is for a, a bigger chain, so it doesn't fit. And then you file that way. But I don't, I don't do that. It's a waste of time. I just take my flat file and count passes. I'll just break down the nub. Just do like three strokes like that. Try and again, don't hit the working edge. I'll do like three strokes every probably three or four filings or sharpenings of my saw. When I notice that it's not really digging as much as you should, I'll hit the rakers down. That'll usually take care of it. So, and then for the other side. This side's a little bit more awkward for me. But we all have our good side and bad sides. So for this tide, I actually strangle the saw. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. I get this adjusted up here. 
Goodness. There we go. Don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. Okay. I will strangle my saw with my shoulder. Kind of just like this. Again, use my dominant hand just like this. Find your angle up and down and file. Sometimes I'll actually hold it on the gauge just to get a better grip on this side and make shorter strokes. And you just get your angle and file. And I will I will periodically twist to make sure I'm getting new you know I'm not wearing out the file unevenly um, and you'll notice sometimes the file slides right through it's because you got a bunch of bar and chain oil in that tooth so you wanna either grab a rag or just keep filing away till that till that goes away um, you're losing efficiency really I guess it can wear out your file potentially but I don't think that's really that much of an issue so that's how I file um, it's pretty uh, pretty rudimentary it's worked for me it's not the fastest but it works so yeah thanks for watching